Hi everybody, Neil Kravitz here. I hope you're enjoying these daily clinical pearls. Last week we reviewed the treatment plan for a class two hyperdivergent patient. So now let's review a class two hypodivergent patient. These uh, hypothetical situations are really good when you are preparing for your scenario-based exam. I encourage everyone to become diplomats. If you are a diplomat, to recertify. This is also great for the residents who are going through their graduate examination. So if we have a hypodivergent patient, brachycephalic, flat mandibular plane angle, we know that we want to do AP correction, but allow for vertical bite opening. We want posterior extrusion. In a hyperdivergent patient, we didn't want to run class two elastics. We did not want to extrude the molar and rotate the mandible clockwise. We do want to do that for a hypodivergent patient. So I'm running class two elastics. I'm using anterior turbos or an anterior bite plate to allow for lower posterior extrusion. I may even place a lower reverse curve. Now, for a hyperdivergent patient, we wanted upper molar intrusion. We were gonna do a high pull headgear. So for a hypo divergent patient, we want to use a cervical headgear for upper molar extrusion. For a hyperdivergent patient for the surgery, we want an LFO impaction and mandibular advancement with auto rotation, maybe an advancement genioplasty. For a hypodivergent patient, we want an LFO down fracture. We still want a BSSO mandibular advancement, but we probably want to do a tripod set up to enable posterior extrusion. I hope you enjoyed this pearl. Let me know what you do to treat a class two hypodivergent patient. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for another clinical pearl.